for Android tablets, you can easily copy the EPUB and Mobi eBooks from uh, the email. So uh, open up your email application, click save or click or just click on it to open the file. Now if you click on the EPUB or Mobi, you can open it up. Right now we're going to use Moon Plus. Uh, it's a free uh, app. It, it's not the, it has some uh, quality issues, but you, you can use it to open up uh, either an EPUB or Mobi type ebook, as you can see. Uh, and you can open up straight from your email. Okay. Now, um, if you want to open it with your uh, the, the Kindle app for Android, it's a little more complicated. You have to have this app called uh, File Expert HD. And what that does is you can use it, and this is for advanced users, you can copy the file into, um, you have to copy it into uh, your, your Kindle directory. So, um, so right now we're just kind of, uh, we're finding the file and then we're going to copy it into a directory called Kindle. And you do this for your Mobi. The Kindle app reads Mobi type ebooks. Okay, and the Kindle directory is going to be under the SD card directory. So it's a subdirectory of uh, SD cards. See, there it is, Kindle. And then you just uh, you copy everything into there. Okay, and now when you open up your Kindle app, when you open your Kindle app, uh, you'll be able to uh, see the Mobi type ebook, and it looks pretty nice there. Reading ebooks on an Android tablet is uh, pretty easy. We're, we're going to use a Nexus 7 here. First one we'll take a look at is the Kindle app for Android. Um, there's a carousel interface allows you to scroll your ebook uh, through your library. Um, what you see here is the inscription page from Substance B. Uh, followed by the uh, the rest of the ebook. Um, pretty simple scrolling. You just tap on the left or the right to uh, to go page to page. And you can also, uh, if you're on Wi-Fi, you can go to like websites and things like that from hyperlinks that are embedded inside the ebook. You know, it's pretty easy uh, on the Kindle app to adjust the font, margin, and, and background. Um, if you click on the little uh, the little letter icon in the top right there, uh, you can. Uh, change a number of different things. You can also change it uh, if you're on a bus and you want to read and it's at night, you can change like a night background or uh, you can also change it to a sepia background. Okay, and you can always uh, pull up the table of context by clicking on the uh, magnifying glass. That'll uh, immediately uh, allow you to jump straight to the table of context, which is useful for nonfiction. Um, you can also, um, there's, there's footnotes and, on certain types of nonfiction books, and you can access those uh, just by uh, clicking on the various hyperlinks. Okay, you can also uh, go straight to the Kindle store, of course, uh, where you can buy more uh, uh, Kindle books. Right now we're looking for America Goes On, one of the hottest selling novels in America. No, not really. It's, it's like number one million or something. But uh, just as an example, uh, you can pull it up there and you can uh, buy a new book. Okay, and there's some other apps for uh, the Android such as uh, Montano Reader is a very good app uh, that can be used to read EPUBs. You can actually load EPUB type ebooks unlike the, the Kindle app which only you can only load Mobi ebooks. Okay, so uh, once you have the file on your Android tablet, the uh, Montana will automatically try to find it. And you can uh, view the, the table of contents by clicking on the little arrow on the left side of the screen there. Uh, same same uh, going through the book, you know, you can swipe or tap the uh, left or right side of the screen. Okay, you can also change the background color, font size, and reading orientation as well in Montano. It's pretty uh, easy and intuitive to figure out. Okay, we're just changing our orientation here. We're going to try landscape, which uh, looks okay on a seven inch tablet. Um, one other thing, uh, one other app is Moon Plus. Now, it, we, we don't recommend it. It's not as good as Montano, but it, it is free. Um, you can use uh, you know, same kind of uh, page turning features. Uh, you can also add, you know, highlights, personal notes, and there is a, a dictionary feature on there as well.
Okay. Right now we're just uh, we're just trying to uh, highlight certain parts of the text. You know, add notes, and uh, this might be useful for uh, people in like a, a classroom setting, or if uh, you know for social media sharing. Okay. Okay. We're just adding a, a little note right here, and the highlights. Okay, we can also switch the orientation mode. Right now we're in portrait. We're going to switch it up to landscape, and it gives you this nice uh, uh, two-column view. Fortunately, on the, the Moon Plus uh, app, the, some of the font support isn't very good. Uh, you can see that um, it doesn't render uh, the ebook very nicely as compared to Montana or, or Kindle. So we recommend using a Kindle or Montana when you, for your Android.